If you want material and worldly success, meditate on Bill Gates and Oprah. This might uh, appear to be a weird suggestion, but there is a deep uh, philosophy behind it. The philosophy uh, goes back to a very ancient time in the yoga tradition. There is a saying in the philosophical tradition of India that you become as you think. If you go on thinking about uh, a person or a thing or a mantra, you will become that. This is expressed in the saying, Yad Bhavam Thad Bhavati, you become as you think. So, say for instance, uh, hmm, Oprah herself, uh, she admits that uh, her initial focus was on Barbara Walters. She wanted to be someone like Barbara Walters. And then she became one, and then she thought it was not a good idea to be about Barbara Walters and she wanted to become more than that and then she became more than what whatever she wanted to become. To give more examples in this line is uh, Jay Leno and uh, David Letterman wanting to become like um, Johnny Carson or uh, Leonardo DiCaprio wanting to become Robert De Niro. So these people's mantras are like Robert De Niro or Johnny Carson or Barbara Walters. So that's what my mantra is. A mantra is something that you go on repeating over and over again a million times, ten million times. Then you become that which you meditate on. So if you meditate on Bill Gates, then you will have the wealth of Bill Gates. So you have to be so focused on that person because then you will be able to access this energy. So there is a deep philosophy behind it. Um, that's why I often tell people if you want uh, a Mercedes Benz, just meditate on Mercedes Benz. Then you will get that. Or if you want uh, to meditate, imagine you med just meditate on it. Uh, Thinking a few years ago, a couple of years ago, I, following the same um, philosophy, I gave uh, a, a meditation uh, using the mantra Higgs boson. Uh, I said that Higgs boson is the most powerful mantra in contemporary times because Higgs boson is that boson article that can reveal uh, the secret of creation. That's why the boson, particle, particularly the one that uh, hypothesized by Higgs, um, is called uh, God particle. Higgs boson is called God particle because it's going to contain the information needed for understanding the creation, what creation is. So I just came up with. Uh, the Higgs boson as a mantra. So if you go on working on Higgs boson, then it will um, give you the power of, uh, of God. There is nothing um, in the universe that is accidental. So just because we do not know something, then we uh, cannot simply uh, call it as an accident. The only thing is we have ignorance in that area. That we have no explanation based on our reasoning. That's all it is. Uh, later on, uh, maybe a hundred years later, we will come up with uh, 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 reasoning behind it. So there is no accident. So the yogis uh, if they want to manifest something, they just think about it. It is called Siddha Sankalpa because they have such tremendous amount of consciousness and power. Uh, whatever they think, they, it happens 
or it materializes immediately. It's called Sindha Sankalpa, as he said. So if you want uh, to manifest something, you have to you work on um, the thing that you really want uh, just by focusing on it. And I still strongly recommend uh, working on Higgs boson as a mantra. Om Higgs boson, Om Higgs boson, Om Higgs boson, Om Higgs boson. Om Higgs boson. And I have also uh, another version of that uh, Higgs boson that uh, is available uh, on YouTube or on the Mount Pillai Center site. And I strongly recommend that uh, for everyone. 